Who's our liaison this time? An old friend. Some troublemaker I know. Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we will be taking a look at one of the most anticipated 2.0 modifiers, Sowei Kura Mitsuha. Kura Mitsuha is an ice support unit. She belongs to the Shinu faction of characters and uses rage as the resource to execute her skills. Her basic attack has five sequences and will generate a set amount of rage on hit. Casting her dodge skill, or skill three, after any sequence of her basic attacks will not interrupt its attack sequence. Her dodge skill by default will trigger a three second time fracture on successful evasions. If the dodge skill was cast as a follow-up to a basic attack, skill one or skill two, she will bombard the enemies with multiple waves of range projectiles, inflicting them with up to seven stacks of frost. Ice attacks against enemies inflicted with frost have their crit rate increased by 0.8%. For every stack of frost on the target, the frost status can stay active for 10 seconds. Skill one, Shadow Swayer, allows her to quickly advance forward delivering multiple blows to the enemy at quick succession. Skill two, Moon Shatter, sees her quickly retreat, dragging nearby foes in her path, before taking aim with her Naginata and deliver an explosive glacier blow to the surrounding targets. Skills one and two on their own have no inherent effects. However, skill two does possess the highest multipliers amongst her abilities. Skill three, Frostbreaker, can be used standalone or as a follow-up to a basic attack, skill one, skill two, or the initial cast of skill three, with its attack pattern changing depending on which attack it was a follow-up to. When skill three's follow-up attack hits a target, their ice resistance is decreased by 10% for six seconds. Her ultimate, Silver Petals, grants the congeal state to the ice modifier with the highest attack for 15 seconds. While in the congeal state, the mod gains super armor, takes reduce incoming damage, gains a 30% increase to their crit damage, and for every 1% ice damage increase Mitsuha have, crit damage is further increased by an additional 1%, maxing out at 120%. Lastly, enemies hit are inflicted with the frost status every one second, while the congeal state is active. When self or teammates triggers a time fracture, she gains 15% of her ultimate charge. While Tsukuyomi is on the team, their ultimate skill chain, Frozen Thunder, grants the ice teammate with the highest attack the congeal state for 15 seconds. Rage modifiers have their skill damage increased by 25%. The team's lightning damage is increased by 30%, and Tsukuyomi's crit damage is increased by 15% for 12 seconds. As you could probably guess from her skill overview, her dodge skill and skill three are the main driving force of her kit. Her dodge skill to apply frost stacks, which in turn increases the team's crit rate, and skill three's follow-up attacks to reduce enemy resistance. Your first priority at the start of battle will be the acquisition of rage. In a support role, this combo should be pretty effective at achieving just that. Activate the first sequence of your basic attack, followed by a dodge to trigger the dodge skill's effect. Thanks to the insane range on Kura's dodge skill attacks, we will be able to gain rage fairly quickly at a safe distance while inflicting max frost stacks on the surrounding foes. Simply loop this combo until you have about 60 rage. From here, use the first sequence of your basic attack, followed by skill three for the follow-up attack, which will lower the enemy's ice resistance followed that up by our special dodge skill to increase the team's ice damage by 30%, rinse and repeat. You may have noticed that I neglected to bring up skill one and two. That's because we want to save all of our rage to trigger the special dodge skill. As a support, that takes priority over personal damage. In a main DPS role, we want to start again by abusing the first sequence of our basic attack and our dodge skills effect for the rage acquisition, frost stacks, and the crit rate buff. We can follow that up with a basic attack, setting up skill three's follow-up attack for the resistance shred. Once the shred is active, we can go all in with our skills, 
since skill 2 have the highest multiplier. I like to lead with it to make sure it gets the buffs, followed by skill 3 for another follow-up, which will reapply the shred. From here we can reapply frost stacks with our dodge skill, followed by skill 2 and skill 3's follow-up to clean things up. Rinse repeat. <laughs> For Ether Codes, 3 Red is going to be her bread and butter while playing her default role as an ice support. This will increase her total number of frost stacks from 7 to 15. Skill 3's follow-up attacks will no longer shred the enemy's ice resistance, and its damage is reduced by 70%. However, now when her dodge skill crits, the enemy's ice resistance will decrease by 15%. Lastly, similar to Hera, holding down the dodge input while she is in possession of at least 45 rage will consume said rage to increase the team's ice damage by 30%. This effect only lasts for 5 seconds, but there is no limit to how often she can trigger the effect as long as she have the rage to do so. For players looking to play her as a main DPS, 3 yellow will allow her to be just that. This will grant her a 15% attack boost when her dodge skill crits, and increase the crit damage of skill 3's follow-up attacks by 20%. After her follow-up attack crits, her next dodge skill cast will have its crit rate increase by 30% temporarily. In addition, the congeal state will now only affect herself, and its duration is increased from 15 seconds to 20 seconds. 3 blue offers okay damage, but it is ultimately weaker than the yellow code. It will summon an ice field each time skill 3's follow-up attack hits. A maximum of 3 fields can be active at any time. These fields will deal 100% ice damage to the surrounding targets every 2 seconds. When her dodge skill hits, all fields will deal 200% ice damage to the surrounding foes refreshing their duration. When skill 3 is used, all fields will move in the direction of the attack dealing ice damage and freezing enemies in their path. This line can be fun when dealing with a large group of enemies or a stationary boss. But against a highly mobile target, I would not recommend it. When it comes to Functor Kura has options, the free-to-play Shikigami, Aosaginohi, is one of the most universal functors in the game, providing its holder at base a 10% crit rate and a 30% crit damage. Her four-star options are also quite good with Yamabiko offering a boost to crit rate when a dodge effect is triggered, synergizing perfectly with Kura's kit. And Shikigami Reju offering her attack buff that stacks up to three times when they attack crits. The only issue with the four-star options is that they are gacha functors. Because of this, I can only recommend them if you already have them at a high refinement. Otherwise, the free Aosaginohi is the clear winner here. Of course, none of these functors will improve her support capabilities much which is where her signature functor, Shikigami Amanojaku, comes in. It will allow any ice attack from the team to inflict the frost status, and the crit rate provided is increased by an additional 0.4% per frost stack. Skill 3's follow-up will decrease ice resistance by an additional 4%. Red Code's second line will allow crits to decrease ice resistance by an additional 10%. When entering modified mode, clears all enemies CC resistance points. While in modified mode, every time the enemies are inflicted with a crowd control status, clears the CC resistance point generated and deals an additional 500% ice damage. This effect can be triggered three times per modified mode. Skill 3 and the dodge skills follow-up attacks increases self-damage dealt by up to 18% for 6 seconds. Lastly, Skill 3's base damage is increased by 
for ice support, Kura Mitsuha. The new set, Story Ends Here, is going to be her best in slot. The set decreases the enemy's ice resistance by 10% on hit. When an ice skill hits, the team's crit rate increases by 8% for 12 seconds. We are slot this into slots 1, 3 and 4. For slots 2, 5 and 6 we use Iceberg to fully commit to the role of a dedicated ice support. This set will reduce the ice resistance of enemies hit by a skill, or ultimate by 10%. If the enemy is under the effect of a control res, this is further increased by 18%. For those of you who want to try DPS Kura, run the story ends here for slots 1, 3 and 5. For slots 2, 4 and 6, you can add Spartan Rage to satisfy her rage requirements and smooths out her rotations. For enchantments on support Kura, prioritize bonus ice damage, crit rate, followed by calculated reserve and burning will. This will hopefully allow your dodge skill to crit more consistently, increase the potency of your congeal state, and allow her to have the 45 rage required to trigger her special dodge skill. Of course, for DPS you can prioritize the usual attack, crit rate, crit damage, and bonus ice damage. Warps gives you the freedom to personalize your characters in a way that best fits your playstyle, as such the ones I recommend may not be the best ones for you. But if you want my recommendations, they are as follows. For slots 1 and 2, we want two power-up melees, one judge and one executioner. For slots 3 and 4, add two telepathize force field 1 and 2 EM flux. If she is in a party with either Tsukuyomi or Izanami, replace the EM Fluxes with two Unfetters. For slots 5 and 6, running two Anger Management will drastically improve your rotations and make sure AI Control Kura have the rage she needs to trigger her special dodge at the start of your battles. The last slot can be two Kinetic Mod, two Ultimate Equation or two Evolution Particle 3. At the time of recording, the only skill chain partner available for Kura for you guys on Global is Tsukuyomi. Even though their kits doesn't really complement each other, the buffs provided by their skill chain and their personal damage output does allow them to be an effective team. In this comp, you can play whichever mod you're most comfortable controlling. With mods like Hera on blue code, Lingguang on red code and Heimdall on yellow occupying the third slot. Once Izanami becomes available, she will replace Tsukuyomi and the two will become the strongest pair in the game. If you have a double S 2.0 Skadi, she can replace Izanami on ice teams, especially if you have her functor. Poseidon mains can also take advantage of Kura Mitsuha and delegate Hera and Lingguang to different teams. If you're new to the game and do not have access to any of the units listed, you can still build an ice team using A rank Vidar and Levy, or S rank Levy and Vidar if you were able to get her from the standard banner. In closing, while some may underestimate her potential, Kura Mitsuha stands as an omen of the approaching storm, heralding the imminent arrival of winter's icy embrace. <laughs> Fight! <laughs>